Hello everyone, welcome back to some more like the landlord. I am rejuvenated, I have water, and I'm ready to come back and win this. I can take early cultists with no fear. Because I know I have the power of God and anime on my side. I feel like a key is a super safe pickup because... Oh, that's super risky, but I gotta go for it. Um, shedding season is insanely good if we can get it to work out. Uh, Sloth is uncommon, but I just don't see it working out for us. What we really need here- ooh, that's big. That's four. I feel like I should take Miner. I can always just remove him later. Okay, that's definitely gonna leave us in a good spot. I think Rain is better. This is just a really good item that's also removal. I really like Quigley, but... Coin on string is a better pull ball at this point. Peach is tempting there. I don't know. We got our rabbit. Uh, let's take an egg. Honey's really good. And a coconut half because we could get a monkey with that. And let's just keep stacking the beers. Eventually we have to get a dwarf, right guys? game wouldn't just leave me hanging like that, would it? Oh, that's perfect luck. I got a flower out of that. Well, we are in a great spot. I don't know why I keep magically finding these rares. Maybe the game's taking pity on me. I don't know, quickly, I feel like we're going into flowers instead. I'd rather have the good potential. How did that rabbit's fur give minus five? I pretend to understand this game, <laughs> but uh, having a little bit of trouble with that one. I am doomed to never get a second cultist here. So the bear would destroy the honey, but the honey is paying out good for us. So I'm thinking we let it. Extra rabbit fluff should be insanely useful. That's very good. If we can get some spirits on the board, we'll be in a terrific spot. Now is when I probably should get rid of the chicken, so I think I'm gonna. Because otherwise I'll just procrastinate on it since it gives two. But I don't want the board any more cluttered. I say as I take a bigger and with no way of getting rid of it. And you have Undertaker, you gotta go for that though. I did take a key earlier, so this safe is free. Rain is paying out really nice. Too late for coal at this point, honestly. It takes too long to pay up. Uh, another five sided is tempting, but we're getting all on commons. I think protractor is worth. I don't really think there's a situation where you wouldn't want a protractor. Hex of tedium. It would stack with witch if I could get one. Yeah, and I'm still getting stuff like eggs. The gold variety of eggs, anyways. Uh, I'm thinking transitioning into a hex deck wouldn't be too bad of an idea. 
And I should probably spend my uh, removal token on this cultist that isn't doing anything. This run is looking like it's in a terrific spot right now. Also, um... <laughs> I don't know if I said this, but the new patch... I do have a rabbit. It is three... How can I say no to a moon, dude? It's rabbit season. I actually remembered the coin on string synergy there. Ooh, look at that rain cloud. Definitely a big take. I would very much like... I think Capsule would be... That's a weird choice to have to make. Oh my gosh, that just protractored 81 money into my pocket. Surprisingly, that wasn't actually that much. I don't know about Peach. I think Capsule's very good, though. Now my bananas are stronger, except I don't have any bananas. Come on, give me a way to kill this pot game. Alright, that's perfect. <sighs> to choose between that and Golden Carrot. Golden Carrot is just a runaway victory. I can't say no. Look at that rabbit. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of that honey finally. Turn on the lights in here, baby. Beastmaster would buff the rabbit as well as the moon buffing the rabbit. A lot of potential there. Hooligan would kill the spirit thing. Hustling Capsule destroys itself. I think, honestly, Hustling Capsule. I don't know if I want a Hooligan on the board at this point. My deck is pretty consolidated. Wow, that guy said consolidated. What a nerd. I know. It's okay. Need the cat. I definitely don't need the pearl. I never use the miner. I don't know why I still pick up miner. <laughs> he just goes like one most of the time, anyways. Well, I got the thing. Oh, that's a sun in the corner. Thank you, game. Big money. That rabbit keeps paying out. I think Chemical 7 is better than Wild Card in this situation, because I'm not going for Endless. But Wild Card would be better in an Endless situation. when something like a witch would be very good. Buffing capsule is probably better in the late game. But we just got a ton of good items right now. Just coasting for sure. So we can never get any more flowers obviously because of um
can't get commons anymore. But other than that, yeah, this is definitely a win. If this isn't, I will be surprised. Undertaker is extremely strong. As is pretty much everything else we have. Look at that black pepper paying out immediately. So did that pay out on its own thing breaking? It's kind of neat. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Now I can get rid of the cherries. And then I'm about to get like Miss Fruit or something. Oh, that bunny just got double buffed. That is a 90 gold bunny. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Golden carrot is too good. At this point, the uh, benefit of hustling capsule is so tiny, but I still like taking it. Actually, it gives minus six, but it recoups the loss from the black pepper. And also from the 122 that <laughs> I just get in general. I gotta say, it's weird having sun and moon meta work out at the same time. Because they're pretty different. But yeah, this is a win. I wish you ate strawberries. Oh, I do actually have dice. I was thinking none of those are useful, but there were a couple that were useful. Give me a witch. Seriously though, my luck this game was insane. I don't know why it was so good. I'm definitely gonna get the double seven seven before endless. Dwarf is still up, so we can grab a wine. Bartender is very good with dwarf, although I probably don't want to be filling up spaces. I was right. Best use of protractor is getting drunk easier. Not even that much easier, just like... <laughs> gets shoved into you. The bunny is paying out. I'd sling like a rusty cog here. This would just pop off. <sighs> yes. Uh, owls should get buffed as well now that I think about it. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> now to get rid of here. This thing's kind of annoying. Oh, we can pick up puppies now. Although they're actually worth less than rabbits, because rabbits are worth five with that. Dude, if Protractor was on, that would be so much. Oh my gosh. You gotta love the silver arrow pointing at the wall. Or you could hate it. That would probably be a <laughs> more natural reaction. You get rid of all these useless spirits.
Yo, toddlers are buffed. Yeah, it was worth to take that owl. Can be worth 18. Ooh, that moon's hitting too. Gonna stop taking spirits at this point. Nice. This is definitely gonna be ultra rare or whatever it's called. Huh, oh, just regular rares. Feels bad. What is not helping? This dice takes a while to animate. Oh my. No, there's no way I can get triple sevens for. <laughs> well, that's a win. Let's do another. And I know that runs very good. It could go endless for quite a bit, but uh I don't know, Crow seems decent early. It has a lot of stuff that synergizes. I think I'm gonna take it. I just don't really like Bounty Hunter. He's kind of basic. Although Dwarf is also very basic. Don't want two Dwarfs. Well, that was an early payout. Should have taken Plum. What am I doing, man? I will take one cultist and just see if I can get any more. Probably candy over hustling capsule for a win is a decent idea. Uh, seed is very good, potentially. Hooligan's also very good. Got a bunch of good symbols there. Rabbit fluff is probably not the move now that I think about it, but it is worth two. I don't know how we're not getting both cultists every time. We don't have a full board yet. Happened again. What are even the odds of getting three bears? <sighs> you know, shrine is good, but I just don't know if any. I mean, it'll work for thieves. I don't really want extra rarities at this stage. How has Toddly not gotten any of the candy yet? <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Starting to build up both cultists and flowers, which is very good. You're looking very good on run. We're getting the commons. Still. Which is good for us. Look, he eats banana.
Do we need goose? Probably not. I need to remember I can take pots because I have hooligan. Golden arrow is better than hustling capsule. I will admit to that one. I know it's early to say, but I think this is a win. Flowers and cultists are pretty much always going to be very strong. Oh nice, that works for your void creatures. That's actually really good to know. So we got four cultists on the map. Very, very good. Who do I not need out of all these? Probably the cat. Do I have a cat relic? I do have a cat relic. No, I think goose, because I don't really want more golden eggs at this stage. I'd rather have like suns or something. Flower meta. Ooh, nice. Actually, tedium will give us more flowers. Although I also could have just taken a flower. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely am polluting the deck here. Can't take honey. Uh, that'll be really good for cultists. I think I need to take it. Even if I'm not drawing very many of them, it's still very good for them. That paid out very quickly. Banana only gives like six, I think, for a monkey. So it doesn't seem very worthwhile. Again, Hex of TDM gives more cultists, ideally. Beer is nice because it gets insta deleted. Whereas urns make spirits that stay around for a while, even though. Well, 10x, so that'll give 11. Versus 4 over 4 turns, 16. Still gonna skip over safes. This run is looking good enough to do so for a while. <laughs> All the hexes of tedium I could ever want. Start getting like bees in the corner whenever that pops up. Look at that hooligan smile. I will take a diamond. <laughs> Imagine saying no, diamond isn't good enough. Uh, you would destroy a bunch of people that I don't really need anymore. That sounds great. You do destroy cultists. I think that's alright though. Yeah, I'm not gonna sweat it. I will let you kill my cultists in exchange for their spirits. I should have taken the beat. What am I doing? Once the cultists are gone, it's going to be, um, Flower City. So I need to buff those flowers however I can. Ooh, nice. Got launched and buffed.
Just taking a bunch of uh, useless humanoids that I can have Zara lead. And if he gets buffed while he's eating these, you know, we'll be in a good spot. Look at all of those. How many spirits do I have now? Two, four, one, seven. Like if you can also do math. Yay, flower. <laughs> Please give me a sun. <laughs> My mom be like, Yes, eat my child so that you may become strong. The hexes of tedium are kind of <sighs> keeping me from getting some good stuff. I don't know, mega checks. I said mega checks. Mega chest is hard to give up, but which is very good. Oh, she buffs crow. That's good to know. I would like an egg, but I will take a child I can sacrifice. You know what they say if I can <laughs> sacrifice a child? <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> oh, Zara will eat the witch. Huh. I think I'm just gonna let her die if she wants to die. Leave it all up to fate, why not? Keep taking more humanoids. Zarev seems to be quelling his bloodless. Uh, the reason miners are better than cultists are because cultist gives here. Oh, although I got the cultist upgrade thing. I forgot to update. Win streak. I am on a win streak. I should take in the coin. I'm a not smart guy. Seems like whenever Zarav munches on someone, they uh, become worth a lot of money. I totally just dropped my phone on the floor for no reason. I'm a legend. The more flowers, the more pog. <laughs> Why did the chef just come back to fix the egg? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty next level. I'm dead, but this egg is gonna be worth money, man. Guarantee it. How come the witch got munched before, like... All the miners that I don't use. I should probably get rid of like the cherry. You could argue that the crow is no longer worthwhile. I think the monkey is a better return of investment. This would be really dumb, but imagine if Protractor made it so that the arrow would hit every corner cell. Thank you, arrow. Very cool. <laughs> I think we'll be okay, though. Yeah, so cultists are worth one with anthropology thingy. Maybe 
May I offer you some nice eggs in these trying times? Such as three of them. In a row. <laughs> Nice, that should be worth a lot. Yeah, 24. Zarov is just so strong because he works on everything. If you can feed him enough sacrifices, he will be helping you out all game. Finally, we're getting on commons. Once the hexes get shoved off the board, it uh, becomes a lot easier, I say, as I take another hex. Just too good. I, sh I should have taken the dwarf. I say as I'm like 500G above where I need to be. Seems weird to end it on a turn that the protractor is not active. But that's our win. You know what they say, you can't end on a win. Or a loss. Or ever. So let's do another one. Um. It would be really nice though if I could um end this episode on a three win streak. That's my personal best it's three in a row. Alright, it's goldfish farm time. I think the Sapphire Guaranteed 2, plus Potentiality to be removed, is quite good. The second goose over the flower is a bit of a strange choice, I will admit. Um. The reason Hex of Tedium is really good here is because it'll give me uh, more ways to find crab. And also the um, fish. This is what's known as crab and fish strats. Tax evasion has a lot of uses. Hard choice. These crabs do not want to line up. It's pretty full at this point. I'm okay with passing on that. <sighs> Can I really pass up on Clear Sky? I'm gonna regret that decision.
please keep doing this. <laughs> it would be so funny to just keep doing that over and over. Get a pool ball turn. Uh, we got a rabbit buff, right? Yeah. When will these crabs line up? They haven't lined up once. I don't know what the odds of that are, but probably low. It's still getting close here. This is another shrine, which makes void creatures good. I'll take another key for some reason. Let's get rid of those cherries. Actually, the coin is pretty useless. We're getting the permanence on money. Come on, man. There we go. chance of getting a pair though. We have like two keys, don't we? Yeah, I don't want lockpick. Wait. Okay, you still get two times the amount, it just gives more now. Still getting so many uncommons from the uh, rabbit's fluff, which just shows how strong it is. I do want the monkey. Crabs, please. I haven't gotten like a single crab <laughs> in years. I'll take the flower for the sun. Well, this is going to be close. That was close. I wait for a second for the key to work itself out, and then I can just remove the other key. I don't know, is there anything else I want to get rid of here? The crow isn't too great. Neither is the cat, really. anymore. No, my rent is late and I'm a failure. <laughs> oh no. Well, if you enjoyed this episode of Luck Be Landlord, leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.